Howdy guys, we're glad to have you back. Today, we're going to tell you something that's going to take you back in time and make you wish you had a horse to ride through the Wild West. Emily Blunt is joined by Tom Hughes in an upcoming series, and we couldn't be more excited. But you'll need to watch the entire video to find out more about it. So saddle up, folks. We're going yee-haw. First off, let's talk about the discovery of Witch's actor and why it's exciting to see him on the cast. Tom Hughes made his screen debut on Casualty 1909. What other films have Tom Hughes appeared in since then? He has demonstrated his skill by landing roles in semi Terry Junction, in which he revealed his amazing dance moves, The Game in 2016, Madame, and Red Joan. After finishing high school, he enrolled in the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in 2008, where he earned a Bachelor's of Arts in Acting. Hughes is also a music enthusiast. He's been playing the guitar since he was five years old. In the discovery of The Witch's second season, Hughes played Kit Marlowe, an Elizabethan-era English playwright, poet, and translator. Hughes, who also appeared in the BBC Cold War drama, The Game, was the first name revealed to be joining the cast after after the British pay broadcaster's second season of the Supernatural series. Cast revelations start with A-listers or higher rated actors to create hype, so obviously he's a big deal, and those of you who've been watching his shows would already know he's great. And there's probably no need to talk about Emily Blunt, but let's get into detail anyway. To begin with, Emily has made a place for herself among Hollywood's A-listers. She starred in a number of television shows, including Foil's War, Empire, and Gideon's Daughter. Blunt won a Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actress in a Television Show, Miniseries, or film for one of those roles as well. After starring alongside Anne Hathaway and Meryl Streep in The Devil Wears Prada, Blunt went on to play supporting roles in films such as The Jane Austen Book Club and Charlie Wilson's War. Her screen performance in the film My Summer of Love as a young lesbian was praised for its sensitivity and precision. But who else is in the show apart from these two actors? The English appear to be one of the more high-profile prestige series to hit the BBC recently, boasting an international cast of acclaimed actors. In Wyoming, Stephen Ray and Valerie Patchner will play a pair of small town investigators. A few of the local heavyweights on the cast list include Rafe Spall and Kieran Hines. Oh, and the latter recently got nominated for an Oscar award. So, we weren't really kidding when we said that this show bagged actors from high places. Then there's Toby Jones, the perennial bad guy who was recently seen in Kelly Reichardt's alluring historical drama First Cow, about a mischievous pair of fraternal explorers in the early 1800s. Moving on, let's talk a little bit about the series in detail. The English is a fictional Western drama written and directed by Hugh Hugo Blick, about two people who met in 1890 in Middle America to travel through the violent countryside. A thrilling chase, the English is a western that uses the central themes of individuality and vengeance to tell a compelling story about race, strength, and love. In 1890 Middle America, an aristocratic Englishwoman, Lady Cornelia Locke, played by Emily, and a Pawnee ex-cavalry scout, Eli Whip, played by Chasquet Spencer, join forces to cross a violent landscape built on dreams and blood. They both have a strong sense of their destiny and what they're meant to do, yet neither knows that it is based on a shared history. They must confront numerous terrifying challenges that will push them to their mental and physical limits. But as they resolve and overcome each obstacle, they get nearer to their final destination, the new town of Hoxham, Wyoming. It is here that the full extent of their intertwined history will be revealed, and they will face the future they must live in. Well, that is after local sheriff Robert Marshall and young widow Martha Myers launch an investigation into a series of strange and surreal unsolved murder cases. That's more than enough about the plot, though. You'll have to wait and watch the series to find out more about the story. Next up, we have the show's air date and production. The upcoming drama's exact launch date has yet to be determined, but a recent statement by the makers clarified that The English would premiere in 2022. The series might drop any time now, so you better be ready for some action-packed fun. After its UK premiere on BBC2 and BBC iPlayer, all six episodes of the show will premiere solely on Prime Video in the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and the Nordics in November. The show is co-produced by Amazon Studios and the BBC. Wolfgate Productions Limited, a collaboration between Drama Republic Limited and Eight Rooks Limited, is producing the series. Hugo Blick is the creator of the show and also serves as an executive producer, director, and screenwriter. And Emily Blunt isn't just the main character on the show, she's also serving as executive producer for the Drama Republic with Greg Brenman. And there may be no trailer yet, but we have first look photos. There may be no sound or music, but we can get a pretty good idea of what the show will be like from these pictures. And, as far as we can tell, it's going to be bomb-tastic. The first picture shows Eli Whip in a cowboy's getup, minus the hat, holding onto a distraught and shocked-looking Emily Blunt. There's also a man's body lying on the ground behind them, and it seems like he's pretty much dead. Woo! So that's what had Emily so scared. The second picture
picture features Emily looking beautiful in her 19th century inspired pink costume. And that hat isn't a want, but a need. Seriously, why can't we bring them back into everyday fashion? The next image is of Eli Whip dressed and ready for battle. He's holding a gun while also having more on his waist. Don't know about you, but we wouldn't want to be in his way when he's glaring like that. Oh, and it looks like Lady Cornelia's got swung at. Or maybe not, but in the next picture, Emily Blunt is donning the same pink dress, except now, she doesn't seem so put together, and her nose is bleeding. Ouch! And there's one more picture with Blunt wearing another beautiful dress, but this one is red and definitely fancier. But the weirdest part about the picture is the setting. Lady Cornelia is kneeling on the floor in the middle of, well, nowhere. There's a makeshift tent in the background and a blanket laid out with a cowboy hat on it. That's probably where she was sleeping, or supposed to be sleeping. Now she looks alert and seems to be looking at something she finds suspicious, probably the person who sacked her in the face. There are more pictures of the two main characters in different costumes, but the one where they're riding off on their horses is definitely our favorite. In other news, first off, Emily Blunt is set to star in another project with a Hollywood A-lister. The Fall Guy, Universal's adaptation of the iconic TV series, already had star power with Ryan Ryan Gosling, and David Leitch, and it appears to be increasing that with its latest A-lister. Emily Blunt is reportedly set to co-star alongside Ryan Gosling in Universal Pictures' new film, The Fall Guy, which is set to be released on the 1st of March, 2024. Leitch will direct the new film, which is based on the 1980s television show of the same name. There's a long wait till its release, but hopefully, when production begins, some behind-the-scenes of our dear actress will quench our hunger a little. And also, Immature is coming to Amazon Prime Video. Amazon Prime Video revealed on Tuesday that the next season of the comedy drama series Immature would be launched on its platform on the 26th of August, 2022. Omkar Kulkarni, Rashmi Agdekar, Chinmay Chandransha, Naman Jain, and Kanika Kapoor star in the show, which was created by The Viral Fever and directed by Anant Singh. The series' first season premiered on MX Player in 2019. According to a press statement, the first season of the show will also be available on Prime Video alongside the upcoming second installment. And finally, Prime Video is readying itself for the upcoming NFL season. This season, Amazon Prime Video will be the sole carrier for Thursday Night Football, which is the first time in league records that a streaming service will be the sole provider for a package of national games. The era will begin on August 25th, when the San Francisco 49ers play the Houston Texans in a preseason game. The Los Angeles Chargers will play the Kansas City Chiefs in the second week of the NFL season on September 15th, Amazon's first regular season game. And that's a wrap for this video. Have you seen the first look pictures of the English yet? What are your thoughts about the upcoming show? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.